this is H.C. Bailey, and let's go downstairs, and let's play Chrono Cross! Technically, would this still be considered downstairs, since we're taking a ladder to get there? Eh. Well, this is, uh, Korcha's little sister, Mel. Uh, apparently she has the same mannerism, but they didn't put Cha at the end of her name. Melcha? Eh, I don't think that would really work too well. Oh, yeah, he's back in his room here now, I guess. You, loser. Well, let's see what's outside of his room here. Hey, how's it going? Uh, for telephones, I guess? Or, uh, sure, let's pay the money. Why not? If you don't pay the money, then, well, you'll have to pay it later anyway. So, yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, you see that wire that I passed up earlier? Uh, we had to go here to get a lecture on how they work in order to, uh, well, figure out how to use them. So basically, you can pay the guy, well now, five gold to get down to the docks and leave here relatively quickly. If you say that you already know how to uh, use them, then he'll just charge you the ten gold anyway. So I figured I might as well at least, uh, well, show you the tutorial or whatever the guy does, the directions for how to use that thing. Okay, well, I think there's only one more thing to do. We gotta visit uh, Chief Shamandaria at the Shrine of the Silver Monkey. Or just an ordinary shrine, wherever this place is. Oh, they got torches right next to a tent. That sounds like a brilliant idea. Okay, yeah, I'll just make sure to be courteous. I mean, I'm a dead guy. W what's she gonna do to me? Well, you just got a little, uh, uh, I don't know what the word is to describe it. Hey, I'm dead. Can you, uh, help me out? Well, yeah, pretty gentle when you're dead. Can you tell me, like, what to do next? I mean, I'm, I'm just leaving Kid there to die. I don't think the game has told me what to do next yet. I mean, we'll find out eventually, but, uh... And what is with this land of Genesis? They keep on talking about it, but, uh... I, I don't think, you know, it really has any bearing on the plot. Eh. Dimensional distortion, huh? Well, maybe I'll keep an eye out for that. Well, I'll do the best I can. Let's talk to, uh, the... Shaman's assistant. She's a little more interesting. And just so you know, not every person who has a portrait uh, can be recruited. Most of them can be, but not all of them. Oh yeah, there was that, uh, that fort over there, but I couldn't get there. It's kind of surrounded by mountains. The dragon tier? Wow. And the shaman kind of looks like the... Uh, what is her, uh, the Oracle from the third Matrix movie, when they replaced the actress there for that. Huh. Well, I'll keep an eye out for it for you guys. Yeah, let's get some more information about what's, uh, going on here. Maybe they can tell us about how to get back or something like that. I don't know what's going on, but I'm sure there's a reason. Well, that's it? Well, screw you! I thought you were supposed to know everything. Oh, yeah, they kind of already told us about this. Yeah, someone stole a dragon tear orb thing. Whatever. See if I care. Well, yeah, there was uh, the forts over there by a uh, volcano, I guess. You know, it's kind of funny how in this game they have uh, the six colors for the elements, and in Magic the Gathering they have five. I guess, I mean, it's just the nature of the card game or whatever, but like, you know, I, I heard that they didn't want to have six colors because then two colors would be paired with each other, and, you know, that would sort of imbalance it in a way. So you'd have three pairs of two. Or something like that. 
But in this game, I guess they don't care, because they just want them to be opposites. Yeah, how do you pull that one off? All our flames are normal. You've got a lot of fire around this place. You know, I mean, this would be more of a fire hazard than my house. I mean, I've got all these electronics around here. I'm surprised I haven't burned this place down yet. Yeah, I've got three computers in my room alone. An evil flame? How can a flame be evil? Huh. Well, I'm sure that's not the frozen flame that uh, we've heard about. I thought it was just a jewel or something like that. Oh, okay. So we're not on the main island anymore. Huh. Well, we're living together now. And you're leading the demi-humans here, apparently. Oh, yeah. I was kind of there. And is there anything special there? Or No. No, I guess there isn't. Okay. Well, uh, let's see. I think that's all the information we can get here. Okay, so, uh, let's see. I think, well, we could take the, uh, the ropes down to the entrance here, but you know what? The doc is probably done getting, uh, drunk at the bar there. So, uh, let's check that place out, see if there's anyone else interesting that's in the bar now that we can get in there. Yeah, for some reason we couldn't get in there earlier. I guess we didn't want to upset him any more than he already was. Well, I got some, uh... I guess, fishermen here. Oh, well, it was a Termina festival, but yeah, same difference. Man, a lot of things are going wrong with nature around here. A lot of the dragon islands, the hyper marshes and everything. Wow. Hi-ho! Oh, you seem to be in good spirits. What is it, some kind of a bell? What is it with these Squaresoft games and bells opening up places? I don't know. What does that do? Turn my pee green? Well, let's talk to the bartender. Or uh, Is a female bartender still called a bartender? Or is there a special name for a female one? Oh, okay. I'll get out of here then. Hey, hey, get out of my way! There we go. Okay, well, that's a little bit of a small bar. Oh, they got our benches around here. No real uh, bar stools or, or anything like that. Eh, not that I would know much about bars. The only time I ever go to a bar is with my fiance, and only if they have good pizza there. Or maybe uh, chicken strips, those are always pretty nice. All right, wh where are we going? Oh, well, I suppose we could head back to Termina. That's about the only place that ha well, has a port. Except maybe, uh, are you gonna come with us, Kyle? Yes, there you go. Or, well, what, are you gonna do, fly your way back? I know you can float your way upstairs, but I don't think you can float on water. That'd be a nice trick. I suppose, uh, uh, what's her name? Poso could doggy paddle back, but no, no, we're not gonna do that. Ah, happy music! Bye, kid! We're leaving you back there to die! Happy music! Yay! <laughs> That's a little, uh, out of place. Yeah, we'll just, uh, park that thing here. Uh, hope no one minds. Oh, and you know what? We, uh, we won that bet with Guile there. We ought to, uh, get our prize. The boat's not for sale if you want it. He can go about his business. Move along, or I'll make the earth tremor beneath your feet. Yeah, wish I could do that. They'd probably arrest me for it, though. Uh, I have no idea what I need to do here. Okay, well, let's go visit that, uh, what is it, the fortune teller, and I think we'll call it a day, then. Yeah, let's not leave uh, Termina yet. There's some events that we can trigger depending on which path you took here. 
Let's uh, have him read Guile's fortune. I see great fortune in your future since you won the bats. Yeah, let's uh, read Guile's fortune there. <laughs> Ma'am? Oh, well, I suppose it's kind of hard for us to uh, tell what gender the fortune teller is, but yay, we get a brass rod for our efforts. So what do we do now that we're dead and we're not going to do anything to help Kid recover from poisoning from the Hydro Venom? Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Cross! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.